So when Nvidia announced their Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 CPUs, they also gave a little sneak peek at Big Navi RDNA 2 RX 6000 series GPUs. Performance is getting really close or beating the RTX 3080. Should we be excited? Will they even be in stock? Let's discuss some of these ramifications. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, makes me happy. And of course, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's talk about the AMD RX 6000 series GPUs. According to AMD, these will be the most powerful GPUs they've ever built, and I sure hope so because the 5700 XT, as nicely as it went into the market in terms of the performance below the RTX 2070 Super, it really wasn't what we would consider a high performing GPU. It's more sort of in that mid-range. It's got nowhere near a 2080 or a 2080 Super. So now AMD finally is building really powerful GPUs. And that makes a lot of sense. They've been trying to compete with not only Intel, where they've been sort of upping their price performance and beating them, but they've really been trying to do the same thing against NVIDIA. And I think they saw how excited people were for the RTX 3080, 90, and 70 um, from the previous NVIDIA announcements. And they also saw the stock and launch issues so I hope they're watching that. So them deciding to sort of preview the RX 6000 series GPU in the manner that they did is very interesting. Basically, they showed a couple of performance slides that shows this new GPU, and we don't know exactly which one it is, if there's one above it or if this is the highest one. It shows it pretty much neck and neck with an RTX 3080. And if you guys have been following the scope of the news recently, the RTX 3080 has become the darling in people's hearts. Well, before the stock issues, it was the darling in people's hearts for price to performance because at 699 MSRP, you had a GPU that was like, absolutely bonkers. I mean, usually you would have to pay 1200 bucks for a 2080 Ti to get that level of performance, but here we have a GPU that's twice as performant as like a 2080, but at 699. So that really stole people's hearts and minds until the launch proved itself to be very problematic, and that's an entirely different uh, subject. So AMD, I think they saw that, so that's why they teased it against the RTX 3080, because they figured if the RTX 3080 was so loved for its performance, not for its launch, if we produce a GPU that's possibly close in price, maybe they undercut it by 50 bucks. Imagine a $649 GPU from AMD that competes with the RTX 3080. I think they figured they're going to get a lot of attention. Um, traditionally, AMD GPUs have had a few issues in the market, like the 5700 XT certainly have had driver issues. Their top tier GPUs have never really gone as far as NVIDIA. So there is a history to be a little bit skeptical if you're really approaching this from an objective lens. But it's very exciting that at least AMD, I mean, they're trying to take on NVIDIA. NVIDIA is an absolute giant. They have the 3080, the 3090. It's very ambitious to try to take on these bad boys. You see the performance they're putting out, and especially the 3080, it's not priced at an outrageous level. A lot of people were actually fairly happy with that 699 price for the performance it's pulling out. So AMD definitely has sort of a, a rough road ahead of them because they're going to have to prove to the consumer that their new GPUs can not only be stable with stable drivers, but perform as well as NVIDIA for maybe a little bit cheaper price. I really do think they have to undercut NVIDIA a little bit in order to sort of steal the attention away from some buyers for the RTX 3080. Now, in a normal world, all this would make sense, like I just mentioned, but we do have a very big serious issue and that's going to be with really high demand and very low stock. Now the RTX 3080 can be as good as it is for whatever price it is, but we all know that you can't really reliably find one in stock without being lucky or jumping through hoops or paying a scalper or a million of, of different avenues that really aren't traditional. So this really puts us in a funny place. AMD, there's been some murmurs that it's not going to be a paper launch. They will have stock, but of course, they're not promising to have a massive amount of stock. And I would find that they're probably going to be in a similar position to NVIDIA. The demand is so huge that I think it spills over from the people who couldn't get RTX 3080s until people that are now going to be like, let's try for an RX 6000 series. So that demand is going to spill over. Even if NVIDIA ramps up stock, I still think that AMD, if they can produce stock, they're going to sell a lot of these new 
GPUs, even if they're not NVIDIA GPUs, people are going to see the price, the performance, and at least we know now that it's going to be close to a 3080. Of course, we need independent benchmarks and tests, but at least from AMD themselves, they show some games performing very close or even beating an RTX 3080. So we'll have to see if it's priced close or a little bit under, and we'll have to see if those drivers are reliable as well. It doesn't matter if these are certain cherry-picked moments and slides. If the game's crashing to the desktop all the time, if they don't put enough attention into their driver team, which has been an issue in the past, so hopefully they fix it now, it certainly has a lot of potential to take on NVIDIA. And if they can produce a lot of stock of these new RX 6000 series GPUs, they could actually do a lot more harm to NVIDIA's market share than anybody would have imagined before. Generally, you know NVIDIA is completely dominant with their GPUs, but we never saw this sort of crazy stock shortage happening. So if AMD could somehow ramp up more production than NVIDIA, I think a lot of people are going to want to try these new GPUs. And judging from the performance that they leaked, being around the 30, uh, 3080 level, I mean, that's pretty respectable performance. We're not talking about like a low tier um, underperforming GPU. We're talking about something that's taking on sort of the gaming king, the 3080. The 3090 is a different niche uh, GPU, more applicable maybe to workstations and things like that. So I'm okay with AMD not trying to compete with that because that's, you know, twice the price. But the 3080 is definitely the best performing GPU for the price that's been released recently. So AMD trying to compete with that it shows you that they're really going for the number one spot they're not just happy about slotting under the 3070 or even slotting way under the 3080 they really want to battle with the 3080 and generally in a normal world i would say that nvidia would be able to beat them pretty easily even if the performance is close nvidia just has stronger drivers just a stronger market in general where people trust their brand a little bit more in terms of the gpus but having these stock issues we don't really know what's going to happen. If NVIDIA can't produce enough 3070, 3080s, and 3090s, it's possible that AMD could start to take some of that market share. And I'm sure NVIDIA is well aware of this. That's why they're doing many things. Like they even took the Founders Edition off their website, moved the sales only exclusively to Best Buy for Founders Edition, presumably so they can work on their own website, make it more secure and beefed up for the launch coming up at the end of the month of the 3070, which incidentally is about one day after the RX 6000 series Big Navi RDNA 2 GPUs are announced. So we can see that they're both gearing up for battle. This is like one of those big scenes in like Game of Thrones or something like that where both armies are, are getting prepared and they're starting to fling stuff at each other. So the big battle, I think, is really coming at the end of the month. Nobody's going to battle over the 3090. I think NVIDIA pretty much secured that performance spot for now. Um, but the 3080 is really, really a hot topic. The 3070 pop Possibly even more so because it reaches a bigger consumer market. If AMD could realistically price a 3080 level GPU closer to the 3070 price, now that would be interesting. Now even if stock was similar in both, that could get some people to switch over to AMD. I think it's funny because now people view the performance and price of these GPUs as a secondary source of excitement if that makes any sense. The number one source is going to be stock, actually being able to get these GPUs. Very funny to say that, but that's really the reality. Price and performance are second. Can you get the GPU? It's in stock? All right, give me whatever it is. At least for now, that's people's viewpoint, and that was caused by sort of the stock shortage from NVIDIA and people just wanting these new GPUs. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little insight as to what's going on with these new RDNA 2 GPUs. Do you think they're going to perform better than a 3080? Do you think it's going to be better priced? Remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you like my content, and I'll see you guys on the next video.